Hi everyone, in today's demo I'll show you how to use CodeSec to find the vulnerabilities in your open source dependencies and generate an S-bomb. So I've already installed CodeSec and I'm going to run the contrast audit command which will identify those vulnerable dependencies. In addition, I'm going to add the extra save parameter which will save the S-bomb to my computer. So as soon as I enter that, that will start the analysis of my open source dependencies. That will take a couple of seconds to run. As soon as that's completed, the results are returned to me. CodeSec will give me a breakdown of all of the vulnerable dependencies ordered by criticality. The vulnerable libraries are listed along with information on the CVEs that are found within those libraries. And I also have this advice to know what version of the library I can update to within my project. If I scroll to the bottom of the output, I can also see that CodeSec has successfully saved that S-bomb to my computer. So let's now switch to take a look at the information that's returned within the S-bomb. The S-BOM is the software bill of materials. It's a machine readable document that identifies the open source libraries included within a project. The S-BOM provides a breakdown of all of those open source libraries or dependencies, the, the name of the library, the version, the license or licenses associated to the library are also provided. And in addition, there is a breakdown of any vulnerabilities that are found. So the vulnerabilities are listed along with the CVSS scoring and the severity of that CVE. CodeSec can generate an SBOM in Cyclone DX format, which is the default format. Or you can also specify an optional parameter if you want to save the SBOM in SPDX format. Well, that's everything I had to show you in today's demo. If you are new to CodeSec and want to see how to install and authenticate with CodeSec, please check out the other videos in our YouTube channel. And I look forward to the next demo.